Ten of Wands looks like they blocked someone out. Hmm. Could have been a breakup, observation between you guys again, but yeah, definitely the energy of you blocking someone out, this person blocking you out, but there's a lot of resistance of some sort, okay? I don't think you're wanting to let this person come inside. Although there is, with the seven of wands here, it also feels that there could be someone who's wanting to fight for you or someone who's being very stubborn, we'll say. This is, to me, this is more like blocking someone on social media, okay? Being defensive. You feel the need to guard yourself. What else? This person could have done a lot of damage to you, okay? And now you feel the need to stay away from them, see? Seven of Wands and the Emperor. Two of Pentacles is someone who needs to make a decision. Someone's coming in to bring in balance in the situation. For the Emperor here, I guess that there is either there's someone here who's wanting to come in and bring balance in their situation and you're already guarded from this person or this could just be you who's guarded from this person and you've got your walls up, okay? You're taking control of the situation, okay? You're wanting to, you, you're bossing up, okay? I'm just getting someone who's very focused, wanting structure and you're thinking very, very logically this time. Suppressing your emotions, keeping your emotions on the side and trying to give something a very logical approach. But what you demand is structure, okay? And I think you won't stop till you won't get it. Four of Wands, yeah. I think, okay, now I, I feel the story is changing a little bit. You could have bl blocked someone out, okay? And you could have been wanting this, and now this person's coming in. They're ready to step up their game. They're ready to uh, man up. And they're coming in with the Four of Wands. This person wants something solid, something committed. This is long-term commitment. This is marriage. This person wants... This could be your twin flame, okay? But yeah, someone wants a union with you. This is harmony, balance within the relationship. They want to bring stability and structure to your connection. But you don't trust them. And you feel the need to keep them at an arm's distance. Coming in. See? Because there was so much of... Um, there was this feeling of complacency, okay, within the relationship. You were never satisfied. This person probably kept emotionally breadcrumbing you just to keep you within the relationship. You could have felt the need to want more. You could have wanted more. You always lacked that um, attention and love from this person, okay? But yeah, this person could be someone who's, uh, who's had like a realization of some sort, okay? This person probably had a realization, maybe there was a down moment between you guys and now this person's wanting to come in and make amend amendments. This person wants to avoid a big disaster, literally wanting to dodge a bullet, okay? Or if the down moment has already come in, they're wanting to resurrect, they're wanting to repair the damages. But they're scared, they're fearing rejection. Someone's fearing rejection. See? Second chances, this is someone who wants a resurrection, recovery, someone who wants a second chance. This person wants a second opportunity with you. They definitely want a reconciliation. This could be someone who was not taking action in your direction in the past. Someone who was indecisive, someone who was in and out of your life, someone who probably had a lot of passion for you, okay, but that's where they just kept it. They didn't move forward with it. Because they were not sure if they wanted you or they were not sure if they were, this was love or lust. But definitely someone who is lacking the confidence to move forward towards you, okay? But they're coming in and they want a second chance with you. Queen of Swords. But you are, your cards are up. Your cards are up, guys. Queen of Swords. You've had it. You've had enough. You're in no mood of any bullshit. Probably this person uh, was moving too slowly towards you, okay? And you probably thought they weren't, but this is just someone who is very slow moving, okay? They probably lack that drive, that ambition to make things happen. Someone very lazy, someone very demotivated, and that's when you cocked out. And probably you were doing in all the work, okay? You expected them to take action towards you. You expected them to... Uh, do their part, but they didn't. And now they're coming in. They're coming in with that um, structure. They're coming in with that uh, commitment. Something strong, something stable, okay? Something that is, um, that has some, something, 
it's it's a very genuine energy with the emperor here okay this is someone who's dead serious okay they're not fooling around because they see you in this energy with the queen of souls here you've already cut them out okay and you're hellbent on not letting them back in you seem to be quite pissed off the queen of souls is someone who has that no bullshit no nonsense kind of attitude okay someone who wants clear communication or someone who's given an ultimatum you could have given an ultimatum to this person and that's something that's made this person change their mind and they realize that if they don't come in right now they're never getting a second chance but this person has some kind of fear okay that you probably may reject them you may not take them back six of cups reconciliation this person's coming back someone from your past is coming back aquarius this could be your soulmate. They feel a strong soulmate connection, a soul tie to you. But definitely someone who you have the best of memories with. You could be giving them the silent treatment for sure. I'm getting a lack of communication between you guys are very minimal. But yeah, they're coming in. They have good memories with you and they want to be they, they want to get back in. They want a second chance with you for sure. But I don't know if you're in any mood to let them in. Because you're standing there strong. And it's not going to be very easy for this emperor to come in and break your walls down. They now see you as the end all be all, okay? They want everything with you. See? They're coming in to get the ball rolling. They're ready to take action towards you. They're wanting to make big changes here. They're prepared for any kind of changes that are coming in. But it's definitely the wheel of fortune. Something's turning in your favor for sure, okay? Luck is on your side. There could have been a lot of deception around the situation, okay? A lot of unknown energy, lack of clarity, okay? You could have always thought this person kept some things hidden from you or they weren't really open about their emotions. They always suppressed their emotions. Maybe someone who is not the best at opening up, okay? Maybe they had a hard time expressing themselves. But I do see them as coming in, wanting to uh, be very clear about what they want. They're ready to man up. But yeah, something's going to be on your side. This is going to be very unexpected, okay? You're not going to, you're not going to see this coming. You're not going to see this coming. Because I think with the Queen of Swords, you're actually, for you, it's like you've had it. You're done and over with this. But they're not. The Emperor is this. Emperor, it literally, I feel like this is someone stepping up. With, because they feel that they're completely going to lose you because of the kind of resistance you have towards them. That's why they're in that uh, energy of feeling rejected. They're coming in. They're coming in to get the Wheel of Fortune in their favor. Oh, my luck is on your side, Aquarius. Whatever you want, it's coming in. Hot and heavy. Someone's ready to take control of the situation or the connection. See, there's a lot of heartbreak, heart pain here, okay? This could be someone who's hurting really badly. They're, I mean, you may have cut this person out or whatever, okay? But the separation breakup is being very heavy on them. This is stressing them out. There's a lot of emotional pain and trauma. But I think with the King of Swords here, yeah, they're coming into clear the air. They're very clear about what they want. And what they want is the Four of Wands with you and they want a second chance. Literally, I need a second chance to make things right. Like, give me one chance, Aquarius, is what I'm hearing. Give me a chance. I'll make it happen. Well, the only thing I see here is, you know, the rest of them all looks like them. The only thing I see is you, you're a Seven of Wands and Queen of Swords. That resistance, that stay away from me, you know, like, don't come close to me. I don't trust you, you know. Someone's pissed off, Aquarius. You seem pissed off. You're mad at them for not being clear about their motives, for not taking action when you really wanted them to, for not stepping up the game, you know. See? That's what I'm saying. The moon here. Things are so unclear, you know. Emotions are getting suppressed. You probably are being very emotionally unavailable to this person. I'm feeling that... Uh, I'm, I'm getting the feeling of you being completely detached from this person. Maybe this person's always made you feel very, very insecure. But also I'm getting someone who feels the need to suppress their emotions. Someone who feels the need to hide their emotions, cover their emotions with a moon here. You could have had a lot of security issues with this person, okay? You could have given this person your all. But now for you, it's like you're choosing to take care of yourself. Choosing to take care of your mental health. Choosing to take care of your needs first. You probably would, have, would be putting this person uh, before you, okay? But now you're choosing you.
They're holding us. They are. This breakup is really, really slicing, slicing them into. Um, they want to get the ball rolling in your favor, okay? They want to make this happen with you. Something they feel, they feel something is very destined and fated, okay? They feel this is divine. This is a divine connection. And they feel a very strong soulmate bond to you, a very strong soulmate connection to you. And probably it's because you're in this energy of cutting out the bullshit, right? They realize you're not, you're no more playing games. They realize you, you, you mean, you mean business. And they're coming in with the same energy out here, okay? They are. Only thing is happening is like they're filled in rejection. They don't know if you're going to take them back. What's the likely outcome between Aquarius and the person they're dealing with for the week of November 2020? Yep, they're coming in. They want to work this out with you. They want a resurrection. They want to recover this connection that is almost dead or has been dead. Something ended badly out here. They're coming in to heal this connection, recover this connection, bring this connection back from the brink of failure, okay? I'm literally getting rising from the ashes. Maybe this ultimatum that you gave them, okay? Maybe you walking away, this ultimatum or this resistance that you have towards them, right? You blocking them out completely, not giving a, yeah, like, you know, literally not feeding them their energy completely, energetically blocking this person. I don't even know if you block them only on social media or energetically you just completely shut them out, okay? But that's what's bringing them back inside. It's just that that's still a lot of confusion, you know, a lot of unknown energy here. A lot of fear of the unknown here. Probably that could be one of the reasons why you don't want to give this person a chance because you don't know where this person is leading or where this is leading. Or you're just not sure. This person probably makes you feel very insecure, okay? They never give you that kind of security, okay? Which makes you feel that you're a part of them or they're a part of you or something which makes you feel like they stand somewhere in your life. Or the moon can also be fear, okay? It can be fear and stress and anxiety. What's the likely outcome? Give me one more card. Give me one more card. They're coming in to build with you. They want to do this. Four of Swords, yeah. But I think that you're going to want to take some time off with the Four of Swords here. Yeah. You probably look at this person as someone very, very unreliable. Someone very insincere. Someone who's very in and out of your life, okay? This could, person could have been dealing with you or looking at you as a passion project, okay? What I mean is that someone who, you know, who has a lot of passion for you, but when it literally comes to, you know, uh, putting things to action, when it literally comes to making, uh, you know, like how there are passion projects, right? But if you want to convert your passion into business, you've got to take it to the next level, right? You've got to do a lot of planning, working, okay? In order for you to make it convert into something more serious so yeah i feel this person has a lot of passion for you but when they come they get what they want and they leave and that's the kind of unreliable energy that you get from them but they're coming in they're wanting to work in partnership with you okay? they want to collaborate they want teamwork okay but with the four of swords i feel you're the one who's going to take that step back you're going to have to do a lot of thinking a lot of resting recuperation okay I think you need a break from this person in order to think about what you want. Because I think with the moon here, you're the one year who's very confused. You're probably literally, I mean, you have a lot of emotions for this person, but you're choosing to keep quiet about it. You're choosing to hide your real feelings, okay, when it comes to this person. And when this person comes in, I think it's going to put you in a spot of like, I don't know. You probably need, to, you'll probably tell this person, I need to think about this. Because I waited for you all this while and you put me in this spot where I had to think so much about you that I would probably I literally had to block you out. Now I don't know because the seven of wands is a very stubborn energy, right? Someone who stands by what they think is right. Someone who stands by their beliefs. I mean, you're going to be in two minds if you really want this with this person or not. They're already scared and intimidated by you. But they're ready to take this risk with you. They are. And they're wanting this with you for sure okay you're wanting to move things to the next level no matter how much pain and no matter how much heartbreak is going on you're right you're both hurting i'm getting here it's not only then you're the one who's hurt too but well they're still coming in ready to make those boss moves okay three of pentacles is not a casual energy right it's 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 a pentacle, so again, it's not like the three of cups is wanting to hang out, chill, or, you know, friend zone or reconciliation. 
the judgment here is more like an assertive decision, okay? Like literally they want this second chance with you. And when it comes to the four of wands here, this is commitment, okay? This is getting together a union. They want this union with you. Soulmate, twin flame, okay? This, this is all the kind of realizations that they have once you cut them out of your life. I think you could always have had your cards down with this person, okay? But now you have your boundaries up. Up and high. And now they're finding it really, really difficult to get through them. They're not sure if you're going to take them back. That's why this unknown energy out here. Things are all hidden here, okay? They're not getting any clue from you. They're not getting any answers from you, probably. Again, I'm feeling you could be in uh, no communication with this person or just giving them that cold, harsh vibes. But they're wanting this. Whether you want it or not, whether you want to give them a second chance or not, it's going to be up to you. But they're coming in. They want to work with you, okay? They're ready to work on this, ready to put in that equal give and take, ready to have a balanced uh, relationship with you. But you're going to be the one who's going to need some time before that happens. You want to think it over thoroughly before you give them another chance. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope this reading resonates with you. Uh, do like, share, subscribe if it resonates. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.